Hello everybody, it is now the following day and it's around 1.20 in the afternoon Japan time. So I actually woke up pretty late this morning. I woke up around uh, 9.30 I was feeling pretty exhausted from the jet lag. So uh, yeah, I'm just uh, having a chill day today. It's pretty rainy and yucky outside. So I'm just going to hang out here and do some video editing. And I actually went over to the supermarket uh, this morning and I got some goodies here. I ended up getting this delicious uh, choco mochi mochi crepe. So here it is here. I was tempted to get this the first night. It was a chocolate crepe. It's kind of squishy. I guess that's what mochi mochi means. But I can't wait to try this. And um, I ended up getting some onigiri from Family Mart. This is a salmon mayonnaise. I got two of these. And here's my other one. And this one costs 110 yen for each of those. And then I stopped at this other market along the way. Um, I can show off the bag here. This is the bag. And that's the name of the store on the bottom. And I ended up getting just a bag of gummies, Suica gummies. And um, I guess that's what they look like on the bottom there. So it's, it's summertime, so I think the watermelon gummies is a good fit <laughs> for the summer. I really can't wait to try these. Um, let's see, suica and melon flavor. These gummies, can't wait to try those. And then, oh yeah, also at the supermarket, they had these uh, gacha palm machines. I ended up getting this really cute uh, vending machine, little display figure. And I'll probably just give this to my niece so that her she can take her toys off to the uh, little vending machine. So I thought this was really cute. And they also had like toy guns, which is what this one is. But I can't really see which one I got here. But I thought that was really neat. And then I went to the Gecko End Shop, the one dollar store. And I got these really cute Hello Kitty wipes to keep my hands clean. And it says here that it comes with 35 wipes and there's two packages. So I'm actually going to open this up and see what the other package looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at that. There's the back. And I'm gonna open this up and see if there's any design on the wipes. And then it's just actually just plain white. Just a plain white color wipe, but the, the cover is really, really cute, and only for a dollar too. That's a really, that was a really good deal. Let's take a look at the other package on the, the shrink wrap. And here's the back. Nothing too interesting here. So anyway, that is my haul for today, and. Yep, and oh yeah, I need to actually show you a tour around this place, so I'll actually do that right after this. So anyway, let's get right on with the um, Airbnb tour. Here we go. Alright, so here is the front of our Airbnb. We're staying at Muse. So the doors. They do have umbrellas. So, and then off in this direction here, there's a supermarket and there's a bakery right there. And down that way is the bank. So, and here is the Ginkan. It says here kindly to take off our shoes. Just a little walkway area. 
So I'll go ahead and take my shoes off. I usually like to keep mine pointed just like so, so that when I'm ready to leave, I can just slide my feet in there. And yep, there's another look at the Genkan. And as you come over here, let's stand up here. This is the, I guess one of the living room areas. Got a table here with some stuff, subway map, and Ueno Summer Festival. We might actually end up doing this at some point. Got some candy and the gachapon that I just showed you. And it comes with these delicious looking instant ramen for free and some senbei. It's a cute little Akita, Akita dog. And there's a mirror here. Hello. And let's see. This is the kitchen. And I'll do a, a refrigerator tour, I guess. There's some jasmine tea. And I'm not really sure what this is. But there's my dinner for later and my dessert. Some butter. And some more tea. And some soy sauce. And it does come with a microwave. Here's what the buttons look like. It's the inside. And down here does come with an ice rack, which is nice, you can make your own ice. And that's just some old fish, which we should probably just throw out. So over here is the sink. And I believe this is the water heater. And we got, got some dish soap. There we go. And, oh, here is the trash schedule. Take a look at this. We're staying in the town of Iria. I've never stayed in Iria before. And over here, it's got some Tupperware. And the rice cooker is stored over here. Um, so burnable garbage, that would be like paper and stuff like that. Cardboard boxes. And then here is the bathroom. There is a little step here that we have to watch out for. And here is the controls. This uh, does have heated seats, which is nice. And when you flush the toilet here, so this kanji here means big flush and small flush. So if you do the big flush, I'm just going to try it out here. The water does come out to wash your hands. It's pretty neat. <laughs> I actually like this. I need vitamin C. Alright, and then over here is a very steep staircase. And I'll show you what I mean. So I guess I'll show you how I go up and down the stairs here. Just kind of go up like a ladder. And then as you come down, you have to take it very slow. Because the stairs are really steep. You have to watch your head here. Oof. That's my ankle cracking. So that's how I go up and down the stairs. I just have to take it very slowly. And the only just one of the downsides of this place is that the bathroom, this is the only bathroom in the apartment complex, so you have to go down the stairs to go to the bathroom at night, and our resting area is upstairs, and that's where we're going to go to next. Alright, so I'm about halfway up the stairs here, and this is where I was saying where you have to watch your head if you're a really tall person, you have to kind of duck down a bit. But this is where it kind of looks like it's a ladder, these stairs. And these are probably the steepest. 
So here's our resting area. Sorry it's a little bit messy, but there is a TV. Um, I'll go ahead and turn that on and see what's on TV Tokyo. So I'm not really sure what this is. It looks like a movie of some sort. <laughs> Dubbed in Japanese. Anyway, I don't want to get uh, copyrighted on YouTube here, so I'm going to turn that off. But this is the computer. And this is actually running Windows Vista, so it's actually pretty slow. And here is the keyboard. In Japanese, of course. And this is our portable Wi-Fi. And in here, she actually, this person actually has some manga for visitors to read. It's pretty neat. Looks like Mix, Hunter Hunter, One Piece, Berserk, Billy Bat. Um, and this one might be, yeah, this is a novel. And Vinland Saga. And I see Attack on Titan here. And I don't really know what this one is. But anyways, that's a small manga collection. And this is just the all display area. It's a Shiva. And Mineko. It's cute. And that's our AC. Does keep the room very nice and cool. And um, this is, I guess, Sharp is the company. But I can definitely feel the cool air. It feels great. There is a window here. You can't see anything. So this is, I guess, our beds. I'm sleeping here. And I got my two manga that I bought the other day for the train ride. Um, and then we'll have a look, a look-see outside. So there's the main street there, bakery, and I believe the post office is that way. And yep, you can see these wires that are very close. It's really interesting. And yesterday there was like two big trucks that were parked right in front of our place. And they left these big cones here. I just, I just wonder what they're going to do here. So that's the outside. And that's pretty much the tour of our um, Airbnb. This is where our futon uh, were. So a nice little art piece here. And anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tour of our Airbnb. Um, once I get some video edi editing done, I'm going to take you guys off on an adventure and we're going to go explore around the, I guess, the area. That's the plan for today. And I'm going to try to get as many videos edited as I can uh, before the daylight goes down. So. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get that done, and I'll chat with you guys in a bit. Alright, so i got a video rendering uh, right now. That's the Life Supermarket Tour. That'll be up on my second channel on Tokyo ACR. And as I was editing the video, I actually felt this room shake, so I swear I felt an earthquake, because I did see the, the TV over there shake just a little bit. And I actually did a little bit of research to see if there was an earthquake, and it appears that there was one, um, like right here. It appears that it happened in uh, the ocean. Oops. Let's see if I can zoom in. So, yeah, so as you can see here, it looked like it happened in the middle of the ocean. And Tokyo City is right 
pretty close by there. Yes, that was actually the very first time I've ever felt an earthquake here in Tokyo. So yeah, anyways, I think I'm gonna go meet up with my dad and I'm gonna go listen to the sound of the cicadas. And uh, yeah, let's get right on to it. I'll see you at Luna Park. Yeah, Alright, made it to the station. I think I'm gonna try the women only car. I've never tried it before. I tried out the women's car for the first time and it was weird because there was actually men in there as well. Um, like Japanese men were in the women's only car. It was very strange. But hey, it's whatever. I don't really care. Uh, but I am actually right behind this temple here in the Ueno. It's right behind me. And I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but that's the uh, cicadas buzzing. And it sounds like exactly what I hear in the anime series. And those are the Japanese crows. I hear a mean mean zimmy. I hear one. Alright, looks like we're approaching some street food. I see shaved ice over here. And corn tomorokoshi. There's these, all these pads here. I don't remember this being here last time in the spring. It's like they're lily pads. Look at the flower out there. The yep. Flower. There's a pink flower. Now these were not here last time. No, they died off. They were like, last time it was like this tall grass. Mm-hmm. Right, right. right. See banana choco, I remember that from last time. Takoyaki's here but it's not open. Meat on a stick. Another look at the giant lily pads. There's one right off in the distance there. Yaki. Yakitori.
Getting some shaved ice. I'm getting Momo, and Dad's getting Mom. There's the flavors. So I got the peach flavored shaved ice. And here we go. I want to try it. Itadakimasu. Well, that's really good. <laughs> it tastes like peach. What does what does yours Mango. taste like? Mango. Mm -hmm. Let me try one. Yeah. This is a mango flavor. Yeah, that tastes like mango. The peach one is really sweet. I'm glad I went with the peach. I'm gonna head on over to Yodobashi camera and just kind of browse around there. So feather falling down there. But this is kind of a look around Ueno. Ueno Park. And the clip before I actually filmed the sound of the cicadas. I filmed the V means Zemi. That's the one that we all hear in anime and video games so uh, it was so cool to hear it in person um but anyway i guess we're gonna get on over to yodobashi so i'll see you there <laughs> Yodo 
Watch the camera by Amiyoka Market.
すいませんあ、ごめん。
to Yodabashi Camera. And thank you for visiting Yodabashi Camera today.
シス、必要書など、知れた情報に取り揃えています。ヨドバカメラの無料の電子書籍アプリ、ドリルが、採用し、アプリで、以上、
お得なポイント還元をさせていただいております。
to get a lot done and it was uh, a really nice day. I'm really glad that I finally got to hear some of the cicadas buzzing. Uh, but that earthquake was really interesting. I was not expecting that at all. I've actually never felt an earthquake in Japan before out of the now three times that I've been here. Hopefully you still enjoyed today's video and hopefully enjoyed seeing some of the, the scenic views and hearing the cicadas and um, all that good stuff. But anyways, we head for a stop at tomorrow, and we have to get up pretty early tomorrow to catch the train. We are going on the Kodama this time, and we've never actually been on the Kodama before. All the other times we've been on the Shinkansen. And um, the Kodama is uh, going to be about four hours from here to Osaka. So, um, and the reason for that is because it does make a lot more stops than the Shinkansen does, but I'm looking forward to going on the, on the, I'm looking forward to going on the Kodama, considering I've never been on it before, and uh, I better get packing and uh, get ready for tomorrow because it's going to be an early day tomorrow, 
Anyways guys, I hope you all have a great night and good morning wherever you are watching this and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Have a good night.